Well, hi everyone. Thought I'd get out here for a few minutes and just share some peace and some encouragement with y'all. You know, I, I've been talking to Daddy. Well, gee, how funny. That's all I do, right? And, oh my goodness, press in. He shows you things, confirms things. All well, answers prayers. Pray without ceasing. We need to be dressing accordingly and watching for the wiles of the enemy in the times that we're in right now because it is imminent. Um, under pressure. What do you think? Okay. Leave your thoughts and comments in the section below, please. Uh, what time is it? Jesus time. So, I'm sitting here going, you know, Daddy, what do you want me to do? I see all these channels that come out with news and breaking news and they have all these subs and all these, you know, wow, wow, wow. You gotta know the drill. And he says, you do what you're supposed to do. You love, you encourage, you pray, you do what I created you to do and to be. Nothing more and nothing less. So, <sighs> okay, I'm off my little pity party right now <laughs> and saying please don't forget to like and subscribe and know that Jesus is coming so seeing that I do had to share that things that were happening and still are happening just as not as a higher degree as it was last night uh, we needed to know and be aware that Things were happening, seriously happening, and the words don't, and um, <laughs> uh, the other things, don't hold the chance to God, all right? He's the final answer, and he's in control. So, seeing all this, it's like the largest contraction ever that we've ever had, and everything was happening all at once, because there's much distractions out there, and we can't be deceived as Jesus warned us that these days were happening and would happen and we're looking at what Aesop saw right now as in Psalms 83 and we're looking at what Zechariah prophesied and, and judges and we're, we're looking at the things that are alive right now that straight and narrow path is what is happening right now <laughs> according to to the scriptures okay that's the narrow path staying straight focused on Jesus um, and not falling off or being swayed to the side like many times you know we are enticed and thoughts come in our mind we're human <laughs> oh my goodness those glorified glorified let my mouth get working here bodies sound wonderful don't they uh, no more pain no more sorrow we don't even have to discuss this stuff. Well, dress accordingly. Again, um, reminder. Seeing that, we're looking at the very last second from this imminent. We need not know the day or the hour because we know that we're in this season. That was the biggest construction we've ever had. Um, but the distractions will make us lose traction. Thinking of the sign of Jonah, and which of course we have discussed and thought about, and seeing that there is a well constellation in the sky, there is a lot of coincidences, okay, that I don't believe in coincidences, but the signs are in the sun and the moon, the stars and the heavens above, and they sure are declaring, <laughs> oh well, uh, his glory, that is for sure, and they're telling his story. This is the point. All right, so as we're watching, we're in awe. Who wasn't in awe last Monday when we saw that eclipse? But what happened during that eclipse, right? Oh, my goodness, y'all. Uh -huh. Spiritually, leave your comments below. But seriously, something serious happened last Monday, and it changed everything. Dress accordingly, again. But knowing that I have to encourage and I do have to warn you when we see the walls of the enemy and um 
Yeah, I just had to share that with you and let you know that Jesus is in control. God is on the throne. He's not moved at all. Everything is happening according to plan. We know that we are sinners in need of a Savior. We are saved by grace, through faith, free gift, not of ourselves or our works, least any man boasts. We believe that he died and rose again on the third day. We know that there was three hours. We know that there was darkness. We know that there was quakes when this was happening. We know what our Lord took for us, the final atonement for sin. We believe on him. Confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. Pick up your cross and follow him. He's made you a new creation, y'all. That old man passed away and all things became new. Let's focus on him. He wants to know you. You don't want those three little words, <laughs> I never knew you, to be said. You want well done. My good and faithful servant, we will endure to the end. We will finish the race and about to cross that finish line. But until then, we got to line things up with scripture. Keep things focused. Stay on the straight and narrow. And here I am with my momism, but just letting you know that where are the lights in this world and our little lights need to keep shining. People are asking questions, y'all. Waking up. They're wanting Jesus. They're needing Jesus. God is amazing. Don't put them in a box and don't ever second guess them. Because <laughs> they'll blow your mind. That Tony Basil song absolutely all the time he does and he never fails and his love never fails and he never gives up ever thank you Jesus so may you have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding over you may Isaiah 53 by his stripes you are healed for any of those that are sick and know that he said that he would provide all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We know that he is our ever-present help in our time of trouble. And also that if we call on him, he will answer. To be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication, make our request known to God. He knows already. Be anxious for nothing. We have today. Yesterday's gone. And he's in our tomorrow. And forever is a very, very, very long time. So please choose wisely. If you don't know Jesus, choose him today. If you do, just know there's a meeting in those clouds at least soon. I say keep looking up. Jesus is coming. Maranatha.